Hi YouTube. Today we'll be discussing the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Try to say that again. I can't. <laughs> This time around, I am a bit nervous because this looks really neutral in the bottle, so I'm not really sure, but again, we're gonna see. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day, it says Stay Fabulous. 3-in-1 foundation, broad spectrum SPF 20. I got the shade 875, which is Soft Sable. It said Fabulous on the front, so I just bought it. To me, it looks pretty neutral. I don't see any warmth at all in this, so this may make me look dead. So this one says it's a primer, foundation, concealer, has everything, 5-in-1, 3-in-1, I don't know. Short nail, square nail, square nail, square nail, short nail, five dollars. They're buying a mama in this bottle, so we also gonna use my Dior brush for this. So as I'm applying this, it's definitely not warm. It looks like it's my shade, but the undertone is wrong. This is educational because this shows you what something does to warm skin. See like where my hair would be? Like it's just kind of fading into it. This is literally the only shade of Walgreens that made any sense to me because the other ones were just so off. It goes on easily and it covers very well. So it's definitely a higher coverage. Sits on the skin very well. I don't really feel it on my face, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my CoverGirl True Blend. See if that helps. Because of course the shade looks fine, but the undertone like is totally wrong. <laughs> like it looks like it, like it looks okay. It probably looks okay on camera, like the actual shade, but it, there's no warmth. Like it's taken like all the yellow in my skin. Like it's just drained it away. Let me find out CVS and Walgreens have a sale on these concealers. I'm gonna buy like five of them bitches. Just gonna blend this out, of course. Like this is like bringing back some warmth into my skin, which is helping the foundation. I'm also gonna use a little bit of terracotta from Guerlain just to introduce some warmth because again, this is a neutral shade and I am not neutral. Of course, there's some other tricks I could use, but I'm trying to use as little products as possible when I'm trying on these foundations. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set this with the Mario Badescu spray, of course. So without going overboard to salvage this particular foundation shade, we're done. The CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. That's a really long title. It's a standard 30 ml one ounce bottle. It retails for anywhere from eight to $10, $12, just depending on where you purchase it. And I believe it only comes in like 13 shades, but I could be mistaken, but that's what I saw. It also has an SPF of 20. So with the three in one concept, this allegedly is your primer, your foundation, and your concealer all wrapped up in a little cheap bow. It's advertised as being a matte finish foundation, something that doesn't actually get cakey throughout the day, and it also is long lasting, so it should last you all day long. So I have a feeling that there's more than 13 shades, just because when I look at the CoverGirl website, this particular shade is 875, which is soft sable, but on the website, it actually says 875 is called Tawny. So obviously this was reformulated, or I'm assuming it's reformulated just based on that, unless the product page is incorrect. And also, if I remember correctly, there was a a shade that was darker than this at Walgreens when I went to go and buy this. But as far as this shade is concerned, this is not my shade. This is not my undertone. It's a very neutral, just dead undertone. So again, I just did what I could. I could do some other things, but I didn't. But as far as what I did, I just added some bronzer. I just introduced a little warmth. So I added some bronzer, added some terracotta light, just to give my skin some type of warmth. As far as the shade is concerned, I'm not sure how you're going to see this in this video, but for me in person, it comes off just being a bit too dark and it also is very neutral. It just sucks the life out of my face. Like there's no warmth, there's no yellow, there's nothing in this particular shade that is giving my skin what it needs. However, with that said, this foundation actually looks really good. Really good on my skin. I don't feel it on my face. It's not, you know, cracking on my skin. I'm having no issues at all as far as, you know, initial, you know, 
first impressions are concerned. I don't see any issues on my face, so it actually looks really nice. So if this foundation actually came in my shade, or if it does, and maybe it just wasn't available at the store that I was at, I would like to actually try this out because this actually looks really, really good. So yeah, unfortunately, this was the only shade that they had, and so that's really all I have to say about this foundation. All I can tell you is that applied on the skin, it looks good. It doesn't actually feel heavy and it covers very well. So the claims of it being, you know, a full coverage or up to a full coverage, it definitely does cover. And I could definitely see myself using this as a concealer if it were my shade. If you happen to use this foundation or if you happen to think that you're my skin tone and undertone, <laughs> definitely leave comments below and let me know what you feel about it. Also, let me know what is the shade that I should be using in this if it actually can be found, you know, in a Walgreens or CVS or Walmart or what have you. So yeah, guys, that's all I have to say. So definitely rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with a whole lot more. Bye, guys.